Hi guys, I'm Jason Feldner, owner of operator of Purchase Guide Service on Devil's Lake, North Dakota. Next time you guys are out fishing, and whether it's May, June, July, even August, you guys see white bass, wherever white bass are in the body of water, if you find these white bass feeding or spawning up on the shallows, that equals walleyes. The reason I say this is those walleyes will be below those white bass when they're up on top of the surface grabbing minnows or even spawning up on top of weeds. Those walleyes are down below getting the easy meal of the, of the bait fish that these uh, white bass are wounding and they're, they're kind of falling down. Those big fat walleyes are right underneath their feet. There's a couple techniques I like to use. I like to use uh, the Lindy lead heads with the what's it jigs or any of your favorite plastics. The hardest part is a lot of times when these fish are, are in a major feeding frenzy like this is getting down through the white bass to get at the at the walleyes. So what I'll do is I'll a lot of times go a lot heavier lead like a three ace or a half ounce with a what's a jig or a twister tail or any of your favorite plastic so it shoots down below the below the spawning or the feeding white bass to so get down to the to the to the uh, walleyes and then just work a jig back and your family's in test rotation. A lot of times you have to mix it up. Sometimes they want a little bit faster in the tree sometimes they want to bounce it off the bottom sometimes you gotta hold it off the bottom say three to four feet like if these white bass there are 10 foot, the walleyes are going to be down below them. Typically they're not going to be right at the bottom, they're going to be suspended a little bit off the bottom, but still below the white bass. So you just got to fine tune it and figure out exactly where the walleyes are on below them in the water. Um, another tactic that does work if they are moving a lot is you'll actually be behind the school of the white bass if they're moving fast on the shoreline, feeding on the, on the bait up on the top and the minnows. And so you'll actually be fishing behind the school versus right below them. So try these tactics. Next time you see walleyes, or excuse me, white bass up on, on, the, on the top feeding on bait fish or spawning, these walleyes are going to be right underneath them or behind them. Give it a shot the next time you see it happening.